Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I wanted to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Um, basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys show up in search results. When people are searching online for limo service in West Palm Beach, now, I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this video short, but there are a couple of things I want to run by you. But before I do that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It goes out and does an account of monthly search terms, gives you an average. Um, and what you're looking at here is from April 2015 all the, way, all the way back to May of 2014. How many people are searching online for limo service in West Palm Beach? It rounds it up to the nearest 10. Okay, so anyway, June, I mean, I'm sorry, May was 260, then 110, 70 is the lowest, 170, 260, 260. 210, 140, 170, 260 in March, March, 390 in April. That's a lot of people searching in, uh, for limo service. That's an um, average of over 200 a month. So I thought this would be a good exam, I mean, good exercise. So I went over here to Google and did a search for limo service. West Palm Beach. This is page one. Okay, let's see where I find you. You are over here. You are a classy coach. And you are on near the bottom of page two. Okay? So, again, I'm just going to cover two factors today. But these are two factors that search engines consider when they're doing rankings on search results. Now, obviously, they consider more than these two factors. But for today, we're just going to look at these two. And what I want to do is compare you with someone on this page. Okay? using those factors and I want to see if there's any differences and if there are any differences if there's anything can be done about it that would help you out and move you up in search rankings okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to take park limo and use them for comparisons because they're on that page and the first factor I'm going to talk about today is something called citations okay now a citation is a listing for your business on a directory site it's a name address phone number listing I'm going to give you an example okay so this website here goes out and finds directory sites okay so here's a directory site called um, Info KB, KB. Well, let's just use this guy. There's one called Local Caller. <laughs> All right. So if Classy Coach Limousines had a listing on Local Caller, name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation. Search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business, and therefore they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. On the top of this page, we actually can do a count of citations for your business. I put you in here, and it's not <laughs> finding any citations for you whatsoever. Zero. Um, Park Limo, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 193. Now, obviously, there's a big difference, but the good news is we can quickly add you to these directory sites. So the, this number is zero. <laughs> we can get that boasted up into 70, 80, 90, into the 100s in short order. Okay. If we do that, it's going to give you a very nice positive boost in search rankings. You're definitely going to move up with those citations, all right? Okay, so those are citations. The second and last factor I want to talk about today is something called backlinks, okay? Now, a backlink is just a link from another website to your website. And let me give you an example of what a backlink is, okay? If there was a website called westpalmbeachlimosupplies.com, and on their website, they had a link to classycoach.com. And obviously, that goes to your website. That's considered one backlink for you. Okay. Now, backlinks are important. Search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations. Okay. For similar reasons, they feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do. Now, this website here actually goes out and does a count of backlinks for your site. The number we want to look at is unique active backlinks. In your case, they're all the same. But anyway, unique active backlinks is telling me you have two unique active backlinks. Let's go look at Park Limo. And okay, they have 15. So again, a bit of a difference, but the good news is you, we can add backlinks to your site. All right? And we probably don't need to add that many, and I'll explain why. These guys are ranking because of this 15, but this score here is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your website. And it's based on how strong the website is that's linking to you, okay? The better and stronger the website is, the higher that score is going to be. 
that score really should be closer to 30% on average. So what does that mean to you? Well, if we just had eight or 10 good quality backlinks to your site from good quality websites and get your score up right around high 20, low 30%, that would be huge for you. You would really jump in the search rankings, okay? All right, so that's just backlinks. Now we've talked about citations and backlinks today, but you can see there are differences between you and someone on the other page of Google, but you're also finding out that there are steps we can take to reduce and eliminate those differences. And if we do that with just these two factors alone, give you a very nice big boost in search rankings, all right? So I hope you found this was somewhat helpful. This is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to cover other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost, there's no obligation. So if you want to see how I can help you out, give me a call or shoot me an email and we'll go from there. Have a great day. Bye.